I'm going to demonstrate the functionalities of the power bank, including its AC and solar charging and discharging capabilities. Appears to be very well made. Feels cold. This thing is was the package was left outside and it is winter right now. I think this is metal surface, which would help with heat dissipation. Power adapter is 20 volts, 3 amps, which means roughly 60 volts of output the handle AC output four USB outputs, including a type C DC output, the rounded plugs, and input. appears to be fully depleted on arrival. Let's charge it up for the first time. Found out about something that's really interesting is the two-way PD USB charging right here. Um, it is not officially listed on the uh, product description page. However, this Type C uh, charger from Rap Power GN is doing the um, same PD port, power delivery port, Type C port, to this uh, Type C, and it is actually charging very fast, 64 volts in. Wow, that's impressive. I was using this one, and it was only doing uh, 50, uh, 58 volts max. And turns out this thing can do this. Wow, that's very, very surprising. Of course, it's briefly mentioned on the user's manual that says two way that then occurs to me I should really uh, try this out. And it's working very good. Yeah, let's switch back to this um, included charger and see what happens. Of course, I'm not supposed to plug in uh, the same device. Uh, I mean, two chargers at the same time. And it's, I think it will increase to around um, 58. Yes. See? And this guy is doing a much better job. <laughs> well, what an impressive uh, feature. And after it's um, char I plan to do uh, maybe 20% charging, then I'll hook this up uh, with an Anderson port. Also bought an um, Anderson cable from, from All Power, and I'm going to use this um, to recharge from my 100 volts solar panel. Yeah, let's switch to the to the um, type C again. I need to unplug this guy. Yeah, I really like, I, it feels like the circuit is really uh, intelligent, well, very well built and designed 
to automatically just uh, switch to the Type-C. Whoa. Now it is charging faster than the factory uh, listed 60 volts max. It's doing 64. Also, I have downloaded the app that I can control this thing on my app, on my uh, tablet. Works really well. Both flashlights, pretty bright. All right, I'll just let it charge for now. All the four buttons can be controlled in the app via Bluetooth. It is charging my iPad Air at full speed. Uh, it's about nearly 10 watts, 9.3 watts. Temperature 15 degrees Celsius. It looks like it is subtracting the power from the panel input and now it's only uh, recharging at 6 watts and if I would unplug this the power is back to 16, 19 volts that's interesting yeah which confirms that this unit really does support pass-through charging that's cool if I disable the DC and input goes back to 15 watts yeah and the iPad is charging at the 10 so subtracted 10 that's like 3 watts input depending on the sun intensity plugged in another device an iPhone 7 plus and it still has enough juice from the uh, solar panel to slowly recharge the unit itself so this is 10 watts as we can see from my power meter 9.2 and this is really also charging right now 63% recharged. Two watts in. 81%, 82%. Power on DC. Plug in Type C. My laptop is at around 24%. I'm not using the AC power as DC to DC charging is more efficient. There will be a conv um, power convention loss at the AC output. All right. Um, it is charging, we're seeing about 37 volts, 41. It's increasing. I have the coconut battery app and it's showing 50. Oh, right, 60 watts. My battery state of charge is 86%, which is, um, yeah, was charged up with the uh, solar panel today, and weather isn't ideal as it's winter overcast. We can see the voltage is stabilizing at 60 watts. Here is showing, uh, you know, the data will take a while to refresh. And we have LED lights here. Very interesting. Um, yeah, one thing I would improve of this for this unit is that the um, there's only one display for input and output. Uh, voltage display so I wish there are two separately uh, for example if the um, like what we seeing today uh, with the solar panel charging if it's doing uh, input 30 volts and the, if the iPad takes 10 then it's only showing 20 volts or 0 watts if if um, the draw is more than the input well, 
we're seeing uh, 59 now and it will take four minutes, uh, four hours and 58 minutes for the power to dry up. Well, that's a great solution for my um, use. Um, I basically can run this laptop or iPad for days um, as long as we have sun, right? It's showing 40 watts now, but uh, I think this is maybe more accurate. I'm gonna power off my computer and I'll just let it charge to see how many um, power this guy uses to fully recharge. Looks like the battery has been fully charged. It's at 68% one watt. I assume it's already done. I'm, I'm gonna unplug and take a look at the battery status. 100% nice so I still have 68% left that's great if I'm gonna plug I think it will be supplying power so I started at 85% so it dropped about 17% great so it will provide multiple full charges to my MacBook Pro. As you can see at this idle state, it's taking about 30 watts. I'm going to reduce some brightness. Shows um, 11 watts, 17. If I'm not doing much, I guess it's just going to sit around 15 watts. 10 or even less. Sometimes this, this guy just shows 5 volts. Well, I'm going to max out the USB output here as I already connected um, an iPhone 11, which is what I'm using to film this uh, iPad Air, iPad Air 2. And three devices, they're pulling about 31 volts. And what if you need uh, to recharge your uh, AA or AAA batteries? I would recommend you still use the USB port as it's more efficient. You get a um, USB battery charger like this. And um, of course, for iPhone, iPad, avoid using this AC um, if you can use USB DC uh, first as this is far more or less efficient. Do not use this if you can use this, or if you maxed out, what if, what if you still need to use uh, more USB uh, devices? And you can still use the DC direct output from the 12 volt port. I'm gonna show you the screen here. Um, this one, for example, I wanna connect to my uh, light type C here. I'm sure this shows charging and this is 30 40 volts 40 volts right now Connect another light a work light And this should increase it is charging it's fully charged actually Should get something else All right 65 40, 46 watts. Okay, this is for demonstration purpose only. It's not uh, ideal to charge up one battery with another, but uh, this one is fully depleted as we can see. Um, just want to test all the outputs, max out all the ports, right? Um, so these guys are charging from the 12C port, uh, the 12 volt bolt port. And now we have maxed out everything. Um, perhaps um, I should get uh, maybe 4 or 5 port, uh, 12 volt, just to show, uh, let me long press to turn on the AC here, 
Beautiful fan kicks in. And my Kilda Walt uh, power meter for something that, that has to be charged absolutely with AC power. So this one has a, a 7.4 volt battery that can not be charged by a 12 volt or USB. So we're doing 5.5 volts for this um, radio. I do not want to cover up this port, so we're at 57. This is far from its uh, rated 300 volts uh, limit. Yeah, I just want to unplug this. If I turn off the AC, let's see. 51, drop to 47, which means simply by turning on the AC here, it would consume just four watts to have this on without plugging in anything. So I guess you get my point. Do not use the, these ports if you can, if your uh, you know, devices can be satisfied with these um, DC ports, USB or 12 volts to be more efficient. Now it's at 65%. All right, if you like this review and find it helpful, please click that thumbs up button and uh, it will really help my channel and encourage me to do more future technical reviews of the electronic products. Thank you very much. Signing off.